Hey everybody, this is Mike, aka Manny the Sea Cow. Uh, I just wanted to show you a little project I've been working on here on my own place. Um, I've got this little quarter acre area that I've been dealing with for several years now, trying to get under control. And uh, so I've been putting goats in and out of here periodically. Um, you can see a nice clear line there. It's one of the things I kind of wanted to show you today. And so on the downhill slope is where the goats have been. Um, the uphill slope, they have not been. There's a little uh, food forest I got planted in there. So there's some nut trees closest to the road on the north side that'll get the tallest and then smaller vegetation reaching down south. Um, fruits and berries and things like that. I've been keeping the goats out of there with one of these little mesh uh, quick fences. I just took that down to do some tree work in here. Um, you can see how effective the goats have been. I had them out of here for a month and had this area basically rested with nothing else in it. And now uh, I put them back in there for seven more days and just took them out of there this morning and they've got it chewed down pretty well like a, you know, like a golf course or something. Um, it's pretty awesome. They've been doing a good job for me. And so I took them out of there this morning and I've got some plans of putting a little building up in here, and I won't elaborate too much on the building today. Maybe I'll save that for another time. Um, it's going to be pretty cool, though. I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, it's going to be kind of angled with the sun, so it will not block any sun for these trees down here. It's going to have a rainwater collection system in it, so I don't ever have to put too much energy into pumping water or carrying water or anything like that to my fruit trees again. And uh, should have some nice overhanging eaves and work with the sun so it'll be heated with the sun in the winter time and uh, kept cool in the summer with those big overhanging uh, eaves. And so uh, yeah this is kind of what I got going on today. I've, uh, I'm just removing some trees. Uh, they're not so much in the way of the goats now but I just figured before I put this little building up um, now would be the time to drop them. Um, you can see I got some nice dead trees up there. I'm um, looking back over this way. These guys here need to go as well, and you can see they're just rotting from the base out, so they need to go. Um, they're nothing really nice, they're just basswood. Um, they'll burn. Um, but I'm just going to drop them and get them out of here so I can start on the building and then uh, leaving all the brush behind. I can probably salvage a lot of that brush for my rocket mass heater to keep me warm, and uh, hopefully for a rocket stove I've got in the works for cooking on. Um, in the past, I would have had to clean all that up, but now I'll just send the goats back up here for a day and let them chew all that up and clean it up for me and then I'll go through and pull the sticks and uh, use that for biomass. And uh, the other awesome thing is that uh, these stumps that I pull out of here in the past maybe, you know, if I was doing a project like this I'd put some kind of herbicide or something on them to treat them so they don't grow back and now I want them to grow back. I want, you know, as much grow back as I can so the goats can have more food to, uh, you know, chew that up again. So uh, there's some little chickens there and a, a turkey. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's what I got going on here at my place. Uh, not doing much gardening or anything. I should be, but uh, maybe tomorrow. All right. Good luck, folks. Bye.